It's Possum, everybody, and we're kind of live going tonight. This one goes out to the Hornets of Hugh Campbell Primary School. Yes, they are the primary school track and field champs. Well, Mama's Basketball Federation Bunny the Variety Basketball Tournament came to a close Saturday night. The Jack A with Jim, the High Flyers, and Saints started the ball bouncing. The Breezes High Flyers and Coca-Cola Saints in Division II Finals, and this was a doozy. The Saints Howard Hinsey to the hoop and an early run, but the Flyers Jeremy nearly had the range, and that's in the arc to snuff it. The Saints with a quick timeout. The Flyers now sticking to the game plan. Here is it. Enrico Bethel with this one to Hank Davis, and that's the flush. The Breezes then caught the Saints defense sleeping, and this one counts as well. The perimeter game was working, and it's called stroking the rock. The paint was brutal. Watch Davis work for two of his eight points the hard way. 43-30 braces at the break. Let's go to the fourth period. The Saints making a run. Shandre Todd to Regis Cooper. He's working on a 21-point game. Regis and the Saints are simply making some things happen here. Flyers defense gave it to them. 67-59 the score in the game. The Flyers stayed on the game plan. Delano Forbes and hustling in the paint. He had nine to boot. The Saints answer, Joshua Cornish, he's got the Banyan Lane shot here, 77-72. Hey, this one is still close. Well, the Flyers, Lionel Forbes, refused to give an inch and answered. The Flyers went to the foul tactics to kill the clock, but Clavon Clock was not phased at the charity stripe. Coca-Cola reach out, Saints won at 87-79, and for Coach Dudley said, mission accomplished. Coach Danny Kummer was livid with the officiating. We only lost two games all year. Uh, our goal was to win the Commonwealth and to see them fight through adversity tonight. Down 10 and didn't give up. Uh, Howard Hensley didn't play and the bench did an awesome job tonight. This was the worst officiated game I ever been in basketball in my 20 years of coaching and my 10 years of coming to Grand Bahama. Those three referees are deplorable. They are deplorable. They never gave my team a chance, especially down the stretch. The referee could look and watch calls, uh, 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 violations being made and would not blow the whistle. This is deplorable. The Coca-Cola reach out Saints, you are the Division II National Champions. Regis Cooper, your MVP with 21 points. Well, a Division I feature put up the Gym Rats against the Giants on center court. Let's go to those highlights. Fast Track Gym Rats opened the Division I Finals of the Perimeter Game. The Combo Bank Giants to Sean Taylor to Rose with the baseline move. Then Teron Cox found the range from the arc. Michael Bain with the ball in the dish to Jerome Atkins. The Gym Rats to Barn Lightbone taking matters into his own hand. Heels get hacked and the basket. The Gym Rats back on track. Condell Beef Delancey netting the three-pointer. Michael Bain Jr. took exception. Nothing but nets. Michael working on a 21-point game. The Jim Rats, Franklin Pidion, also keeping this one close. 16-12, your score. Kiplin Fowler in the game and watch the power move in the paint. He gets the deuce. Deshaun and the Giants kept the pressure on and the results have been positive. Deshaun was in his zone. Boy, he had a game. That's two. He had 26 points. The Giants play team ball. Trevor Jeffrey Hensfield making it happen here and a foul. Also, they're playing tempo ball here as well. The pass to Michael Bain. The flash move to the basket for the final. Okay, watch the perimeter game here. The Giants, Bain delivered. The Gym Rats, Petion also a bit bothered and answered with the tray. Michael Bain Jr. also got the last word of the break. 42-36, Giants are up. The Giants open the third with simply jumping and making it happen to Rose. The Gym Rats, Desmond Butler with this power move and a kiss off the backboard. Keno Russell keeping the fast track close in this one. The ball was bouncing in the Giants' favor. Rose with the baby dunk and 10 points. Well, the Gym Rats kept the stars going and make something happen here. Desmond to the hoop in the foul. 67 to 65. We've got a game. The fast track then went on a run and attacked the basket. Trevor Bain found a range from the tray. Michael Bain countered with a jump shot. Basketball is a game of runs, folks. And Jeffrey to Michael, you can count it. The Giants gave the Gym Rats a game to remember, and they got the win. 86-80 to score. Deshaun Taylor and Michael Bain Jr. said it was a team effort. It feels good, you know. I got to play with a, a bunch of great guys. I mean, I talked about it uh, in our last uh, tournament. You know, these guys, they're, they're, they've, been, they've been great, so I'm just excited to be a part of the team. How does it feel for you to be playing with this kind of caliber team? Oh, this is awesome. It's glad to be back on top. Uh, someone back home told me Jim Rats never lose the Nationals, so I told him I was going to prove them wrong. Deshaun Taylor is your most valuable player. The Commonwealth Bank Giants are the Division I National Champs, and congrats, guys. 
Way to go, guys. Let me tell you, Campbell Primary School holding a special assembly this morning to celebrate their recent victory. Let Sabrina Brown fill you in. The Hornets of Hugh Campbell celebrating a big win. The Hornets ran away with the primary school's track and field championship on Friday, beating out Freeport Primary School by 20 points. Coach Giselle Roll Pinder says the students were determined to win. We're excited that we have regained our title again. It's been two years. Um, the students did an awesome job. Hats off to them. They worked really hard. They were determined to get the title back this year. We have lost for the last two years and it feels great. The Little Hornets dominating not only on the track but in field events as well. We accumulated most of our points from our under sevens, the field events, and we had 11 persons in the 100 finals. And I think that's the most ever finalists that we have had in my 12 track seasons of being here at Hugh Campbell Primary School. She says the young athletes worked hard to prepare for the meet and it paid off. This year we had 32 new athletes for the first time participating in the island sports competition so they did not know what to expect so every day we tried lunchtime, after school practices just to get them ready so that they can have an idea of what competing was. This is actually some of their first time actually running on a track. So we, we worked hard. Lunchtime, they gave up their lunch hour. After school, we had to kind of fit it in with the softball. It was, it was a lot of work. Sabrina Brown, ZNS Total Sports. Congratulations to those Hornets. They did a great job. And Tabernacle won the Little School title. And uh, let me tell you, they are all celebrating and making some things happen as well. And to Martintown, you Knights, you too, are to be congratulated. Boston, Philadelphia tonight. I'm going to go watch that game. That's sports.